Hello, this is the seventh demo of Personal Accounts, a multi-platform application for the Mac, Linux and PC. This is running on Ubuntu, which is a, a version of Linux. Now, um, we're just going to continue the uh, reconcile demonstration, um, viz making mistakes. And uh, before I start, I'll just fix this error, which I, I put cash in banking, and cash should really be a nominal account, so I'll stick it into outgoings there, and uh, change its type to uh, payment. There we are. Um, and I spotted that because when I corrected this entry earlier and put cash in, it didn't auto-reconcile. Now, that, if you remember, came from a preset, so I'll just repeat that operation. Um, preset is something where you simply type in a, a single key and the whole thing is entered automatically. And we can make the, um, the cash part reconcile by setting it in its preset entry as a reconciled type. So, if we now do that again, I use um, control delete to delete that line, press the down key for a new line, type in C, then I get the um, preset in position and it's reconciled. So, to continue with the reconcile uh, um, demo, we had gone through the bank reconciling it using the reconcile box um, like this and we reconciled each with a Z character and the bottom line of the account shows the um, statement, there's a statement there in accounts uh, containing that value and that should of course match the bottom line of your paper statement and often it doesn't because of a mistake or because there's another entry in your bank for instance interest uh, which you hadn't realized and have gone in automatically. So you have to find out where the error is. And the first thing you can do is to double click on the value. So here, in the bank statement, in accounts, I'm going to double click on that 1395. And that pulls up what we call an automated report. It's a report that tells you where 1395 came from, that column. It says at the top, all entries for bank statement. So that's the, the statement column. And there it is. And those are the entries. And you can see all the tabs because we just reconciled. So um, that's one instant uh, thing to look at. Uh, another one is if you choose any of the Z's in entries there and double click on one of those, and you get a similar uh, automated report spring up. In this case, as you can see, it's specifically for the, the two column. And in a like manner, if we click on any of the Z's in the from column, we get a report of those. Uh, you can get a double report by right-clicking and getting a user-definable report, um, type in the account you want, and in this case we're looking for all those with a Z in the reconcile, create a report there, and there we've got um, the um, same as the statements at this particular time, 395, because it's Z's for both sides. Uh, another thing to do is, suppose you have subtracted that value from your bank statement and you've come up with a figure, um, and if there's only one entry, that's probably the one you're looking for. You could double-click on or single click on the amount column to sort them. And if it was 2149, you might find it nestling in there somewhere. Uh, and also, you can sort any of these columns just by clicking on them at any time. Um, and also, you can get reports by clicking on them. So if I double click on that, or triple click on it, I get a report on that. Not that there's much to see. Uh, or on the date. There's a report of all those with the same date click on a blank space there, let's click on that blank space, we get a report of all those with a blank space in reference. And that concludes the demonstration. Thanks very much.